good evening. I'm Jeannie from the Philippines and my fiancé is Body from the USA and you're now watching the Team Taylor channel. For today's vlog, I will be speaking once again in English and this is intended for our international subscribers who are watching the K1 visa or fiancé visa videos in this channel. Uh, last night, I received a notification from YouTube and someone commented and her name is Imane Brani something like that oh i'm sorry i forgot your name so uh but i just want to make a shout out to you and she asked if there is is there no translation so i wasn't aware that we are having international subscribers who are watching our k1 visa videos so right now i will be speaking in english about this one and i'll be telling them about what happened or what um the timeline of our K-1 visa process. So actually, I'm doing my K-1 visa videos in Tagalog because or in Filipino because I find it easy speaking in Filipino or in Tagalog but for the benefit of the international or foreign subscribers who are watching our channel, let me speak for a while or, for, uh, or on this vlog in English in order for them to understand what is happening or what are the what is the process that we are undergoing right now in our k1 visa process so without further ado let's get started so yeah that's right so our what's this we sent our k1 visa petition to the uscis last december 10 2018 and the uscis received our petition on december 14 2018 so a week after that or on december 20 2018 we received our notice of action one so what is a notice of action one um, the Notice of Action 1 states that the USCIS has received your petition. So after that, we have waited for a few months or on April 19, 2019, so after 4 months of waiting, we received another notice and this notice is called as the Notice of Action 2 or the NOA 2. And the NOA 2 states that our petition has been approved and our papers will be forwarded to the National Visa Center in New Hampshire wherein a case number will be created, another case number will be created, uh, and then afterwards it shall be transmitted to the U.S. Embassy or Consulate where the foreign beneficiary or the foreign fiancé shall be interviewed. So in our case, uh, our papers will be sent from the National Visa Center to the U.S. Embassy here in Manila, Philippines. So, uh, that's the content of the NOA2 letter. So, after two weeks of once again of waiting, or on May 7, 2019, I and my fiancé have decided to call the NVC, but I was the one who called the NVC, and uh, after 25 minutes of waiting, someone answered from the other line, and the operator said that, uh, our operator and the operator um what do you call this uh told us told me of my case number so it started with m and l because manila and 2019 followed by other um numbers so it's like a 13 digit all in all uh, case number something like that but i'm not sure if it's a 13 digit so anyway um anyway after that um uh, uh, may 7 on May 7, I have decided to call the NBC, so the operator gave us our case number, and then afterwards, or on May 14, one week after I called, um, the NVC had already transmitted our papers to the U.S. Embassy here in Manila. So the, the status in our NVC case tracker during that time was it was in transit going to the embassy or consular section where I will be interviewed and that is in Manila, Philippines and then a day after the May 14th or May 15th so it says in the case tracker status that it is already case ready so um if our uh, so that's the status of our case right now it's case ready so it means that I am already um what's this I can already take 
or schedule myself or go to the clinic to have my medical exam and yeah to go to the clinic that is accredited by the US Embassy for and undergo my medical exam so that's it so as long as I have the, the no not the eligibility letter but the NVC letter I should say then I will be entitled to go to the clinic or the St. Luke's Extension Clinic here in the Philippines to undergo my medical exam. So that's it. So uh, we received our what's this? Our NVC letter um, on May 14th. Yeah, May 14th. So when the case was in transit, so the NVC had also sent us our NVC letter on the day that the the case status changed from at NVC to in transit. So on May 14th also, we have received our NVC letter. So the NVC letter uh, says that our papers are already forwarded to the U.S. Embassy here in Manila, Philippines. And it also stated there the name of the petitioner and the name of the beneficiary and then what else the case number manila case number and then the uscis receipt number and afterwards um i'm sorry benches because i find it uh harder to speak in english um i find it more comfortable speaking in tagalog but for the benefit of our foreign subscribers right now i'm trying myself i'm trying hard enough to speak in english <laughs> And then what else? So right now, um, I'm preparing for my medical exam and my medical exam will be on May 22nd to May 23rd. So that will be uh, this coming Wednesday and Thursday. So um, with regard to the medical requirements, I cannot further discuss to our international subscribers or to our foreign subscribers what are the medical requirements that needs to be um produced in order to take the medical exam because um, there might be some differences so the requirements here in the Philippines might be different from the requirements that must be obtained in another in another country or in other countries so just um, search a video of the medical requirements that are needed for the K-1 visa in your country and then what else and also with regard to the payment of the uh, visa fee I think uh, the mode of payment of the visa fee here in the Philippines might also be different from that of the other countries and as well as the current exchange of payment. So it's also different. So just search it on uh, what's this on the videos being um what's this uh, being uploaded by your fellow countrymen because they also they will they are in a better position to know uh, what's the process for undergoing the medical exam and the payment of the visa fee in your own country so that's it uh what's this um i hope that i was able to explain myself clear clearly on this video and once again thank you very much for watching and um to our foreign subscribers, if you have any question, just type it in English in the comment section and I will try to answer those of those, uh, those questions um, to the best that I can. And thank you very much once again for watching the Team Taylor channel and thank you for supporting us and stay tuned for our upcoming videos. But our upcoming videos will once again be in Tagalog and it will pertain to the payment of visa fee and yeah <laughs> and pertaining to my k1 medical experience soon uh, since after thursday i will be vlogging about my medical experience so watch out for that so thank you very much and have a great day bye for now